I was asked to take part in the uh, first triennial at the Art Gallery of Peterborough, and I agreed to do it, um, even though I've got really mixed feelings, to say the least, about art. I was getting angrier and more freaked out uh, until this morning I realized what I could do. Just come down here and tell the truth. I don't want to make art anymore. I just don't see the point. Mostly, I went to art school to avoid real world situations. Art was good for that. More and more, I feel like I'm playing an introverted little game. A safe place to be congratulated by other people playing the same game. I don't think that's enough reason to keep doing what I have been doing. Which is what, anyway? What is art for? I like cooking for food, not bombs. At least I know what that's for. About 15 years ago, I participated in a show critical of banking. It was held in a former bank. The signs were still up. It was a lot of fun, but it didn't exactly stop the pipeline, you know what I'm saying? The system remains essentially intact, despite our clever commentary, our relevant questions. A couple of weeks ago, I did a reading at an event called the Self Love Showcase. It was about mental health, sexuality, and prosopagnosia, a neurological condition. I can't recognize faces. It was educational. It was confession. It was a desperate attempt to be understood. Does it have to be art as well? Probably not. The more I think about it, the more it seems that making art is a really weird thing to do. It seems odd to need to classify it, to make it a specialty. If the concerns of, of art really are universal and human, why do we need a word for it? And if the concerns are not universal and human, then why do it? Or at least, why believe that it's something special? I won't spell art with a capital A. The more you capitalize it, the worse it gets. The market value, values some art more than human life. Look up your insurance tables. How can I take the art market seriously? How can I take art seriously? If artists decided to unite against poverty or something, what would we get? A lot of art about poverty. Starving children collaged on Bay Street. Painting of an empty food bank. No doubt some of the art would be worth a fortune to the right people. But the art wouldn't be nutritious and warm. It wouldn't keep the rain off or kill the mold in a basement apartment. It could go to a nice charity event to be bought and appreciated by the people who support the policies that lead to poverty. Charity will not solve the problem of poverty. You can bank on it. Some years ago, Shell Oil was having some trouble over murdered environmental uh, activi refugee activists. A group of artists organized a show of postcards protesting Shell's actions. The postcards were then mailed to, to Shell, so the corporation would know it had been protested. Some of these artists now have considerable reputations. Shell may be in a position now to profit from protest. Wonder what happened to those refugees? Corporations routinely act against the interests and the wishes of entire nations. They don't listen to artists. People have sometimes accused me of making meaningful art. Not true. If I had a message, I would say it. No reason to spend all that time obsessively collecting and rearranging bones, machine parts, and broken glass. Meaning is a story we tell ourselves after the fact to reassure ourselves that we understand. 
Some of the stories are pretty good, but they're all made up. This morning, I started to collect the boxes of stuff I've used to make art. I didn't want to do it, but it occurred to me that I could just nail up the usual broken electronics, bones and shells, and people would mostly think it was okay art. That I could get away with something I don't believe in. I don't want to work in a field where I can do that. It really bugs me when people say they're not creative, when they just mean they don't paint, paint pictures or whatever. Everyone can be creative. It just takes a shift in perspective away from common sense, which is thinking the way we've been taught to think. Common sense can be useful, but it will not solve old problems in new ways. It will not give us anything original. Problem solving on the job or at home or whatever is creative. Creative effort is empowering and healing. We don't have to make art to be creative. <laughs>